Today's Do This, Not That is about quotations. Let's start with the definition. What's a quotation? Word-for-word -word proof from whatever you're analyzing. So what does a successful quotation look like? One, it's organized. You frame it properly. The quotation comes in the middle of the paragraph and logically follows what's come before. Two, it's compelling. It is the proof demanded by a good topic sentence. It makes you eager to read the analysis that follows it. So what does a failed quotation look like? One, it's disorganized. There's no introduction. It feels like an alien spaceship just plopped down in the middle of your paragraph. Where did it come from? What does it mean? Number two, it's forgettable. You picked an obvious quotation, the one we all went over in class, or you picked the wrong quotation that doesn't help your argument because it doesn't match your topic sentence. What does it mean for your quotation to be organized? One, it follows a good topic sentence. It never starts a paragraph. It follows the leader. It provides the proof demanded by the paragraph's opener. Two, it gets properly introduced. We know who's speaking. We have some context for it. Every quotation needs your words too to set the quotation up. Number three, it's the right length. A good quotation can't be too short. One word may be all you need, but more words in your quotation are usually not better. Next, the quotation should be compelling. How do you choose a compelling quotation? One, if you pick an obvious quotation, one that everyone remembers, give it a twist. That will come more in your topic sentence and analysis than in the quotation itself. But if you give a compelling topic sentence and then give the well-worn quotation, your reader might say, compelling. You're going to make that point with this quotation? I want to know more. Number two, pick a quotation almost no one remembers, then show how crucial it is to the story through your analysis. Find the hidden gem. Okay, let's imagine your topic sentence is, Mrs. Croft's acceptance gives the narrator hope in this strange new country. So here we go. Do this. Mrs. Croft calls the narrator a gentleman, which she has never used to describe a resident before. Is the quotation organized? Yes. The word gentleman shows acceptance following the lead of the topic sentence. We get context in the intro and outro of the sentence, plus it's short and sweet. One word. And now, not that. It was very kind of you. Organized? Nope. It's short, but there's no context. We're only given the words from the book. I think this is Mrs. Croft speaking, but I'm not sure. The pity is that this could be compelling. It is short. It's a tiny plot point. Mrs. Croft's acknowledgement that the narrator is kind could prove that she gave the narrator acceptance. But it's not organized enough. In short, do this. Make your quotations organized and compelling. Don't use disorganized, forgettable quotations. For more tips on how to improve your writing, check out my blog at jonathansearcy.com forward slash blog.